All right, NASA hopes a year-long experiment that just ended will help reveal what it would be like to send astronauts to Mars. To prepare for a potential mission in the 2030s, researchers studied six people living like astronauts in a dome on top of a volcano in Hawaii. Their goal was to study the effects of a potential mission on the human mind. Errol Barnett shows us how life on Earth is helping NASA learn more about space. Errol, good morning. Good morning. It's pretty incredible. Before a crew is launched to Mars, NASA wants to know what it would feel like to live there for a year. And while travel to the red planet might be light years away, a group of researchers is looking for the answer to that important question much closer to home. An excited crowd gathered Sunday in Hawaii to welcome this six-person crew back to Earth after they spent a year on Mars. Or more accurately, after they simulated living a year on Mars. They've actually been spending all their time in a solar-powered dome on the side of a volcano in Hawaii, part of the NASA-funded program High Seas. So it's really exciting uh, to be able to welcome the crew back to Earth. Last August, the group, including an architect, astrobiologist, and aerospace engineer, came from across the globe to live in the nearly 1,500-square-foot dome. Over the next 12 months, they had limited food and water and used a computer with at least a 20-minute delay to communicate with the outside world. I'm super excited <laughs> because it's the first time we get to be outside without wearing a spacesuit and everything is different. Look at what's going on. It's the fourth and longest time High Seas has performed this type of mission. A mission to Mars is going to be a complex system of systems. Kim Binstead is principal investigator of the project. Some of those systems are going to be technological and some of them are going to be human. And it's just as bad if the human part of the system fails as if a rocket blows up. Based on this experiment, the crew is optimistic about travel to Mars. They say they would make the trip themselves if they could. I can give you my personal impression, which is that um, a mission to Mars in the close future is realistic. Hmm. Now, if you don't want to wait for that day, the University of Hawaii Manoa program is currently accepting applications for next year's eight-month mission. The crew's advice for the next group, bring a lot of books. Josh, I know you're interested. Are you curious? I, I am. <laughs> so this wasn't six people drawing very short straws. No, they I actually... mean, they go through a physical examination, a mental examination, and the question is, how do they deal with each other being together, locked away in isolation for a year? For a year? And um, they say astronauts are very kind of mentally fit and difficult to shake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we all wonder, how would we behave if uh, yeah. you were locked away with your colleagues for a year without communication oh or delayed communication? <laughs> oh my. I wish Gail was here today. I'd have something for her. <laughs> all right, Harold, thank you for that story. You got That's it. a long time, especially oh, yes. in Hawaii. I'd keep, th you'd keep thinking what's outside exactly. of the dome, Hawaii. Yeah, what's, yeah. Right yeah, what's right There's there. There's an ocean right yeah. there. Thank you.